Hey guys, welcome again on Devish Tech channel. In this video, we are going to work on the icon button. In the last video, we work on the buttons and now it's time to work on this icon button. As of now, for our web app, we have four icon button that is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and LinkedIn. Okay, so we will going to work on this four icon button and we are going to visualize it on the storybook. If you go on a storybook, I already have configured it. Here, uh, we have a four kind of button. Okay, so this is a Facebook button, Instagram button, Twitter and LinkedIn button. Let's work on it firstly. And before I will start writing the code, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share the video. I really need your support because uh, right now I'm covering the video related to the React and to keep continuing to cover the React related content, I need your support. Okay, so let's go and write the code. So let's start writing the code. So before I will start writing the code, I will show you that in a storybook, we just have the default button and the ghost button. And now we have to work on the icon button. To work on icon button, Chakra UI is already providing us a new component that is an icon button component. And we are going to use this icon button component for our web app. Okay. First, we will going to make our own custom component and we will put all the default styling and theming on that component. So it will make our life easier okay like why i do this thing why i create a custom component with help of the chakra ui component is because only that if we use this icon button component in our home page okay and suppose we add some styling according to our figma design okay and all the time we just have to write all the code like suppose we added the style or something okay and uh, suppose the number of line is increased 20 so all the time when we use this thing on a home page we have to put the 20 number of line for this design for this design for this design so it will make 80 number of line for four icons instead of doing that we are just creating a new custom component and we are putting all the default styling and all the thing on that custom component and we will just going to use that custom component and it will make our life easier. I will explain you that what I'm just trying to say you. Let me make a new folder fastly. That will be a PF icon button folder. And we will going to put our custom component over here. So suppose we have to create a PF button icon.tsx. Here we will going to write the code. This is for writing the component code. Similarly, we have to do for the stories. We wanted to visualize this PF icon button in a storybook so we have to create a stories for that pf icon button so let me create that stories.tsx and uh, let's go in the main file where we need to write the code for the component i will going to create a custom component okay so here we are going to import the icon button from the chakra ui so let me do that fastly icon button okay so in this icon button, we have to pass two props. That is a required props. If I will go on a Chakra UI icon button, then you will find that this area label props and this icon props is required props. If you don't pass it, then it will going to throw an error. Okay. So generally, this is our PF icon button custom component, right? We also need this prop given by the user okay so firstly i'm going to create a type of the props let me just create it fastly and i will explain you what exactly i'm doing type and uh, the first thing is area label that is a required props we need to pass it it will be a string type and the second thing will going to be a icon and the icon props is a type react.element so whenever we use some uh, props like a react element then we assign the type of that props as a react dot element okay so area label have a mistake b e l okay. oh i just do a lot of type of mistake so let's take these two props area label and the icon from the user while using it i will explain you that this thing in a storybook when we use this component 
and uh, the type of this will going to be a props type which we just created so we have two uh, required props for the icon button of the chakra ui first one is the icon which we will going to get from the user itself and i will explain you what we exactly going to pass on this icon props okay and second thing is the area level this area level let me just copy it and paste it over here and also we are getting this area level from the user okay so remember this icon button is the component of the chakra ui and we are creating our own custom component which is wrapping this icon button and here only we will going to place the default styling according to our figma design so when we use this pf icon button we just need to pass the area label in the icon that's it the two line of code okay that's why we are creating this custom component to put all the default style height width and everything over here so it will easy our life okay so let's go on a uh, pf icon stories and uh, let's visualize this icon button okay and i will explain you that where we will get the icons of the linkedin facebook and all four stuff okay so first let me going to let me copy this code of these stories because i don't want to write the code we don't need this ghost button and uh, in a default we have to use our own component of the pf icon button so let me use the pf icon button we just created and that is automatically imported and we don't need this thing also let's change the name of the component over here and here now we need to pass two props okay the two props we have defined over here okay so the first prop will going to be an icon and we need to pass the icon okay and how we will going to get the icon okay so now the next package comes into the picture what we did that when we created this uh, react app i mean with the chakra ui and the typescript at that time one package is automatically installed with this project that is the react icons package okay so let's copy this package and let's search it okay so react icons and uh, it will host a website i mean it will open a website and what does uh, will give us it will give us all the open source icon available on the internet it have the end design icon it have a bootstrap icon and it have a pretty much all of the icon which is open source okay this package is already installed on our project at the time of setting up this project so we don't need to bother about it so now we will get a uh, icons from this package okay and we are going to use a uh, icon from the font awesome so how we will going to use it you just have to copy this code and uh, where you wanted to use it suppose i wanted to use it inside our stories so let me paste this code and here we have to provide the icon name okay so we wanted to use the facebook icon okay our facebook icon is looking like this so what we can do we just search facebook icon if this font awesome uh, package have the facebook icon then it will you will find it over here if it will don't have the facebook icon go with and design icon bootstrap icon or anything okay but for our case font awesome have the facebook icon and this is the facebook icon we wanted to use you can map cheat with the figma design okay so we wanted to use this facebook icon right so i have to copy the name and uh, let's go over here and let's paste it and how we will going to pass this facebook icon to our custom component we have to use this icon as a component like this so we are passing the facebook icon like this as a component okay and the second requirement uh, second required parameter of this pf icon component is the area label area label is the name of the icon so facebook icon let me the save and now our in in storybook playground 
a new tab will going to create that will be a pf icon button let's go over here in our storybook a new pf icon button tab is created if you will go over here then you will find the facebook icon button is added okay and uh, now it have the uh, uh, variant as a solid that's why the background color of this icon button is a primary color which we define on the theme that the solid variant have the background color primary so let's go on our pf icon button that's why we created this custom component right we can set up the theme or we can put all the default styling in this component itself so here i'm going to put a variant as the ghost because if you go on a figma design then you will find that apart from here we are not using the icon button anywhere else we are only using the icon button on the footer only that's why we can we can just uh, uh, put the variant as a ghost over here so we are putting all the default styling over here and if i will hit the save and if i will go on a storybook now we don't have the solid background because now it's the icon button variant is ghost but it have the color as uh, as the secondary okay so if i will go over here and if i will click on this icon then you will find that it have a color as a dark okay and uh, in the theme we already created a color for the dark so let me use this dark color I just had the typo mistake over here so let's use this dark color and let's go on the pf icon button and let's use this color the dark color which we have defined on a theme.ts and if i will hit the save and if you go over here on the storybook then you will find that the dark color is applied on this icon we can set the size of this icon the size of the icon will going to be large okay now the size of the icon is increase okay and now also we are getting the props name so we are getting proper documentation of each of the custom icon right so now we have customized our icon button for the facebook okay also we need to handle the on click event so let me take uh, another props which will going to handle the on click event we just did this thing on our button component as well so this will be on click event and every button which can be a icon button or a normal button have a props called on click and we will going to use it so let's go on a, a storybook and uh, let's add a third required props otherwise it will going to throw an error that will be on click and what will be the on click it will be a uh, just a function so that's it this is our pf icon button and we just have to use it like this we don't need to uh, write this uh, variant in color and size related code okay because now we have customized this thing and you are thinking that we just uh, saved the three line right here i mean we created a custom component and we just save the three line but what if in a real life project we create some component from the uh, chakra ui component and we have to do a lot of styling like we have to create a style object over here and we have to pass all the styling related thing also so it will become a 20 line of code right that's why we have to create a custom component and we have to use the custom component over the way back okay that's why i'm creating this custom component and we will going to use this pf icon button component and we just have to pass the icon area level and on click this three thing only okay suppose we wanted to visualize the instagram icon as well so let's work on the instagram icon also so let's add the instagram icon button okay and here instead of passing the facebook icon we have to pass the instagram icon now so let's go on a react icon and let's search about the instagram icon instagram and you will find 
here we have a instagram icon as well that is matching to our figma design okay so let's import it along with this facebook icon and let's pass this thing and let's change the name and let's hit the save and let's go on a face uh, storybook now you will find that our instagram icon is also added on our storybook we can do the same thing for our twitter and linkedin icon we have the twitter and linkedin icon as well so we can do it same for the twitter and uh, for the linkedin and that we will going to use i mean do it on working on the home page okay so that's it that we are created our custom component for the icon button and now we can use it anywhere over our website so let's focus on in the next video about the text component so we have pretty much text component that have a heading smaller heading paragraphs and let's work on this uh, text component in the next video but please make sure to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video i really need your help if you have some uh, great idea how i can improve this video series please have a comment also okay so thank you all happy coding see you on the next video